The value of Bitcoin has risen this year from $1,000 to $7,700 on Wednesday. Those are absurd returns. But the underlying technology, called blockchain, could revolutionize global industries and even pose a threat to governments. At the end of September, the government of South Korea made a big regulatory move. It banned all new digital currencies. Just weeks before, China also outlawed trading of new virtual currencies and more established ones like Bitcoin. These cryptocurrencies are the product of a new technology that's moving faster than the government's trying to control it, blockchain. Blockchain is an information sharing technology popularized on the dark web. It was first used mainly by people buying drugs and weapons online, libertarians and secretive coders trying to avoid detection. But now it's having its breakout moment. Blockchain works like this. Digital records are stored across a distributed network and constantly reconciled because each computer verifies the information on all the others. There's no central server that can malfunction or be erased. These records are public, since the data are hosted by millions of computers simultaneously. And once information is entered into the blockchain, it can't ever be deleted. Blockchain allows strangers to trust each other, because every operation is constantly checked by every other computer on the network. To hack a blockchain would require so much computing power that it's basically impossible. And that will be even more important in a massively connected future. Imagine votes being cast in a blockchain network. The information relies on cryptography and code. It can't be changed, so the election would be secure. It's easy to imagine applying the same principles to digitally stored private data like medical records, or used to streamline the wildly inefficient global shipping industry, which loses countless hours and billions of dollars in overhead costs to bureaucratic red tape and human error. Some major banks and consulting firms are already using blockchains to streamline financial transactions. There may be more immediate opportunity for blockchain innovations in places with serious corruption, where people are less likely to trust government systems. Two state governments in India are experimenting with the technology to handle land deeds, a notorious source of fraud and dispute. But in the meantime, developers are using blockchain for something more exciting, making themselves rich, Companies offering blockchain services are creating their own cryptocurrencies as a way to raise capital. But whether any given startup is real or a scam is anyone's guess. Regulators haven't figured out how to handle this new kind of market. But the fact that they're paying attention means the blockchain has officially gone mainstream. <laughs>